Good morning. My name is Kathleen Flannery, and I have the pleasure of serving as Interim Vice President for University Advancement here at Pittsburgh State University. I am so pleased to welcome you to our campus on this lovely, lovely, sunshiny day. Uh, we're glad you braved the elements to join us for a very special Champions Plaza paver ceremony. You and those gorillas whose name appear within the program represent the inaugural class of pavers in the Champions Plaza. Many of you were with us last fall when the beautiful handcrafted gorilla sculpture that resides behind me and the coaching medallions were unveiled in Champions Plaza. And boy, don't we wish the weather was the same as it was that beautiful day in October. It was a special moment made possible by the generosity and passion of gorilla fans just like you. Here to speak more about the plaza and what it represents, please welcome the president of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Steve Scott. I didn't want it to blow on okay. You. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Good morning. I envy those of you with uh, sock caps, Bob. I see that over there. And I'm going to try to do this with one glove on. So, what a what a beautiful day it is, really. Uh, exciting day for Pittsburgh State University, and you know we have a lot of these kinds of days. To tell you the truth, you know it's proper that we had this celebration today. It's Apple Day. And that's an important day in the life of this institution. It really is, says a lot about the community and our supporters and really recovering and, and moving forward as an institution as we gained our first legislative allot allocation. I almost said allotment. <laughs> that means something very different. When we were able to construct Russ Hall, it took everyone working together to make this university a reality. You know, thinking back to that day in October, as Kathleen mentioned, it was a beautiful day. And I recall a moment of terror as the players walked by and, and touched the gorilla for the first time. And that was the first moment I thought, what if we lose the game? <laughs> they will never touch the gorilla again. <laughs> but I had faith, and we won the game, and it was a great day all the way around. But this, this plaza, this Champions Plaza, has already made some impact on our supporters and our alumni. You know, I live across the lake. So I see this facility, I see this on a regular basis, I walk by here on a regular basis, and this has become a, des a destination. You find people here at all times of day and night taking photos, standing in front of the gorilla, near the circle of champions uh, there on the plaza. The statue has appeared in wedding photos, that's true, engagement announcements, birthday celebrations, and will likely make an appearance in at least a few senior high school portraits this spring. I bet anything it does. As beautiful as the statue and medallions may be, the real power of Champions Plaza rests with all of you and your fellow gorillas around the world. And every paver within this plaza tells a story. Consider Jennifer Pazzi. Gorillas run through her family, so one paver just wasn't enough. She's got one for her father-in-law, Bob, one for her husband, Steve, and one for her son, Caleb. All three played football for the gorillas. You'll see a paver from Mike Nixon, who earned a national championship for gorillas in cross country in 1972. You'll find a paver from proud gorilla athletes in nearly every sport, track and field, basketball, baseball, volleyball, and even swimming. But the stories you'll find in Champions Plaza go well behind athletics, well beyond athletics, into the very fabric of Pittsburgh State University. These stories include that of Ron Roderick. He was a student body president of 1953. He was a 1993 recipient of the University's Meritorious Achievement Award. Linda Hatch Blackwood, a proud graduate who not only brought one for herself, but she also bought one for her grandmother, Mary A. Smith Blackwood, who graduated from Pittsburgh State in 1916. How about that? You'll even find a paper from Gus himself, Kevin Fry. And Kevin's here today, who served as uh, our best ambassador Pretty close race with Phil Scott, right? <laughs> but Kevin was Gus from 1995 to 1996, and he did a great job in that role, and he's got a paver here. And the stories marked by these pavers are as diverse as those who call themselves alumni. Percussionists, cheerleaders, alumni, students, fans, supporters. Each and every paver tells us the story of a proud gorilla, and just as in life, the stories will only grow with each passing year. 
thank all of you for being in here, being here today. Thank you for believing in this institution, and thank you for demonstrating that belief and that attachment through the pavers that you've placed here and that we reveal today. The location of this plaza was no accident. It's on the Gorilla Walk, the pathway our football players walk on game days and the avenue that our students and community take on an almost daily basis. Here to speak on, be on behalf of Gorilla football players and really all Gorilla athletes, past and present, is a man who really doesn't need an introduction, but I'm gonna give him one. He's been a rocket, he's been a stealer, he's been a saint, I don't know about that one. That's a stretch right there. He's been a chief, but the title he goes by most often, of course, is that of a gorilla. He is a true gorilla. Please help me welcome our Director of Development for Intercollegiate Athletics, a member of the Pittsburgh State's 1991 National Football Championship team, Mr. Kendall Gammon. Kendall? Keep that up. Thank you, Dr. Scott. It's my great pleasure to be here with all of you today. As the president mentioned, I've had the honor of walking this particular pathway as a student, a player, and now as an alum. It's a feeling you never really forget. The brotherhood that you have with your teammates is special, but on Saturdays in the fall, the support you see and feel from the community is almost indescribable. It comes at you at waves and it is amazing. It's a public display of love for this university and its student athletes. The only disappointing part is that you have to be here on Saturday afternoons in the fall to actually be a part of it. But thanks to, but thanks to you, and your investment in the Champions Plaza Paver Project, that's no longer going to be the case. As Dr. Scott noted, every paver within the plaza tells a story of an amazing Gorilla fan and speaks to the passion and pride of Gorilla Nation. We see it every Saturday, but thanks to you, Gorillas throughout the world will be able to experience it every time they visit this plaza. On behalf of all the student athletes, past, present, and future, I sincerely thank you, and I am proud to call myself a gorilla. Thank you. Thank you, Kendall. And thank all of you for braving Mother Nature, even though it's beautifully sunshiny out today. Um, but we appreciate you taking the time to join us for this morning's ceremony. I invite you to tour the plaza and, of course, enjoy the hot beverages that are at the tent near the stadium. We have several university representatives who will be available to you if you need help locating your paver. Thank you again for joining us, and go Gorillas!